We're going on a round the world trip, and first stop is Indonesia, Bali, Indonesia. And I run a website development company, and I have to have my laptop, and I have to have power mm -hmm. consistently. And I don't know if there's going to be power everywhere I'm going. So one key thing I wanted to get was an external battery. So I was looking online, and there is this external battery called Hyper Juice. They also sell this $50 adapter called Magic Box, I believe is what they call it. And it takes your existing MagSafe adapter and it turns it in to um, a Magic Box. So you can do a bunch of things with it. So anyways, I'm actually going to convert my MagSafe using the Magic Box system. Alright, well I'm just going to get to it. Um, Alright, let's look through the instructions. So the instructions say, using a pair of scissors, cut the Apple MacBook power adapter cord about four inches from the power adapter. Make sure that the power adapter is disconnected from the wall outlet and MacBook. That's kind of scary. All right, here we go. Well, I don't have a tape measure. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have one. Um, I am a good estimator of four inches. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay. Here goes nothing. Okay. I've officially cut my power adapter. If this doesn't work, that's a $90 mistake. Plus a $50 mistake. I hope it works. All right. Now we're going to use this again, this uh, the end of your MagSafe cord, so keep that aside. We're not going to use it right now, but we're using it a little bit. The instructions say, use a pen to mark two centimeters from the cut end. Wow, you really should have a ruler when you do this, just so you know. Um, two and a half centimeters make up an inch, so it's going to be a little one-fifth less than an inch. That's got to be close. I hope close cuts it. Alright, okay. Okay, step three. There are four stripping holes of varying sizes in the wire stripper. Align the largest innermost hole with two centimeter mark made in step two. Squeeze the wire stripper to remove the outer cord tubing revealing the wire strands beneath. So I go into the largest hole. See there's different hole sizes there. I'm supposed to go to the largest hole. Hmm. Let's see. Oh yeah. Alright. So line it up with the two centimeter mark. Largest hole. And pole. Well that was simple. So there we go. We got uh, the connection end stripped off. Step four, gently move the fine wire strands aside to reveal the inner tubing. Twist the loose wire strands together into a single twisted strand. So they used uh, fine and gently uh, in that sentence. So I'm guessing what they're saying is, if you do it not very carefully, they will break. So let's be careful. It's pretty amazing they mass manufacture this stuff. Okay. I have officially separated it and I'm twisting these loose wires into a strand. I'm guessing this is going to be our, I don't know, negative. Normally negative is the outermost wires. I'm lying. I don't know anything about electricity. Let's just go with that. Okay. See that? It is officially twisted. Alright, step five. Use a pen to mark a halfway point about one centimeter from the cut end on the inner tubing. Okay. Okay, got the halfway point. Again, I recommend you use a ruler. And I'm assuming I just need to strip this off. Yes. Using the wire stripper again, align the second smallest hole with the pin mark 
made in step five, strip off the inner tubing to reveal the center wire strands. Um, looks like as before we need to twist it after that's done, twist the strands into a single one, and then trim the end of the wire to make them equal length, but do not trim too much, it says. All right, let's get this guy in the second smallest hole. So we're gonna go on the second one. Without cutting our other wire, push that aside. Okay. Interesting. All right, twisting. So now I have two wires. See the two wires? They're not exactly the same length, so I'm going to trim it to make them the same length. I'm just going to trim the longest one. Okay. They are officially the same length. Okay. Open the cover of the magic Oh yeah, big magic box, okay? The center wire should be inserted into the positive terminal on the left. The outer wire should be inserted into the negative terminal on the right. Step 10 is to use your thumb and push back the orange spring damps to insert both wires into their respective terminals. Insert the wires as far as possible. Make sure the wires do not touch each other. That's in red. I'm guessing some shit will happen if they touch each other. Let's not have them touch. Step 11, replace the magic jack cover. Okay, pretty, pretty simple. Here's the large magic jack box. Here are the spring, orange spring things. Um, positive indicators right here, negative indicators on the right. What did they say? Center goes into the positive. Yes. All right. So we push back somehow. Hmm. Okay. Push back. Push as far as they'll go in and let go. Mine seems kind of loose. I'm going to try and push it in a little further. Oh, yeah. Okay, they'll go in quite a ways. All right. Looks like they're in. Do you see that? And it's pretty tight, too. I mean, like, it's hanging from it, so it's pretty secure. Now we put the cover back on. Yeah, those springs were remarkably hard to push, actually. So you know. When you put the cover back on, it's pretty basic. There's a hole there you have to line it up with. Okay, oh. Okay, cover's on. My, connected, my connection's been made. It's pretty sweet. So officially, I am able to now charge my uh, Hyperjuice supposedly without destroying it. That's kind of intimidating. But I did do everything the way it said. So, I'm going to I'm going to hook my little extension connection into my MagSafe adapter. I'm going to plug it in to an outlet. And let's see. Okay, nothing blew up. What do you think this blinking light means? Nothing's burning. That's good. I have no idea what the blinking light means. Let's see. It says the LED light on the large magic box will be red during charging of the Hyperjuice battery and turn green when it's done charging. I don't know why it's blinking though. Should I just try it? Okay.
Oh shit, I was nervous about that one. Woo! Check it out. It is red. It's awesome. That's exactly what they said would happen. It is officially charging my uh, my Hyperjuice battery pack and uh, once it turns green it will be charged. Jeez, that was so... That was nerve-wracking. I guess the, they should put that in the instructions that uh, it is going to blink green and red. All right. Wow. All right, next step. Next step is, because that, that's charging that. What that does for me, you probably realize, this shit right here that came with the battery pack, I no longer need. I don't need to bring on me with my, with my trip, uh, which is great. It saves up a lot more room. That one Apple laptop adapter will charge that as well as uh, charge my computer after I get the second adapter in place. Step 12. On the other end of the cable with the MagSafe connector, as before, mark two centimeters from the cut edge. Again, use the largest innermost hole. So basically you're just repeating the steps. Twist the outer wires, uh, mark halfway, twist, put it in, positive. Okay, you're doing exactly what you did before. But this time we're doing it to this MagSafe end where nothing else is connected. Estimating two centimeters. Okay, two centimeters have been estimated. Largest hole. Okay, it is stripped. Now I have to untwist these frail wires. Just so you know, the wires twist two ways. The first outermost layer of frail wires twist one way, and the inside layer twists the other way. So just don't try and twist them off all in one way or you'll get frustrated. Okay. All together. Straighten it out and twist the bad boys. I'm just twisting it super tight. Alright, same thing as before. Halfway point. I'm just estimating. Definitely recommend using a ruler again. Second smallest hole. Okay. Looks shorter than the last one. I'm gonna do it a little little longer. Oh shit. Well, I did it. I just crushed the wires down when I let go of the tool. Okay. Well I saved the wires, salvaged them. Alright, let's make sure they're the same length. They are not. The negative, the outer wires are longer, like last time. Okay, I right, cut them, twist again, the right way. Okay, they are officially the same length, the MagSafe, if you can see that anyway. Now I take the small Magic Jack box, or ma I don't know why I call it Magic Jack. Isn't that that telephone company thing? I don't know. Let's, there's the orange things, they push back like this, you can see that, so I push both of them back, it's really hard, they're strong, strong little bitches, go as far as you can, let go, and it makes a really solid connection, I'm impressed, alright, okay, in place. That is connected. That was fairly simple. I mean it, it definitely took like 10 or so minutes but it's done. I have two connection cables, my battery pack, and I no longer need to use these. These I don't have to carry with me. Beautiful! Well let me know if you have any questions otherwise uh, that's it. Later.